just ordered a new three jaw lathe chuck for my King 10 by 22 lathe. A, uh, I ordered it from Amazon and the manufacturer's name is AccuSize. It's a five inch chuck, looks very much like the original chuck and the backing plate from the original chuck fit perfectly onto this chuck. It fit better than it did on the original chuck. And after a little adjustment, I was able to get uh, a one, just over one thousand, eleven tenths run out. The old chuck had more than three run out, three thou run out. And so I'm really pleased with that. And the jaws are nice and snug and everything went together quite nicely. It's a pretty good product. If you're interested in the chuck, I'll put a link uh, to uh, to the Amazon webpage uh, where I bought it. We've got the new chuck mounted on the lathe and after making some adjustments that we'll talk about in a minute, uh, we have a pretty good result here. This is a uh, half thou indicator so each line is five tenths and I'm going to watch the indicator while I'm turning this. So we are on zero and there's five tenths there's a thou, there's 11 tenths, maybe 12 tenths, coming back the other way. So it'll be somewhere between an 11 and uh, 12 tenths run out on that. That's checking fairly close to the chuck. But uh, the other one that I just removed from here was over 3,000, somewhere between three and four thousandths run out. So I'm pleased with the run out factor. The company had guaranteed nothing over 3,000. Well, 11 tenths is pretty darn good and I'm really happy with that. That's great. When I first ordered that new chuck, I, uh, I put on the lathe and there was 3,000 run out. Uh, the, the company guarantees there's not going to be any more than 3,000 run out and there was 3,000 run out. So can't really complain about that. But what I did to correct that is, and I'm going to use the old chuck and this backing plate off of my mill to show you what I did. I put the backing plate on the lathe and I checked the run out on this surface, this raised surface right here, which is your registry surface. And I rotated it around on the lathe until I found the high spot and on the edge, outside edge, so I could see it when it's all mounted together, I put a plus mark. Then I mounted the chuck on and I rotated it around until I found the plus side of the chuck and I put a plus mark on the chuck. Then I took the backing plate off and I made sure that if the plus mark was here on the backing plate, the, the plus mark on the chuck was on the opposite side of it in an effort to try to cancel out some runout. And as you saw, it kind of worked. We went uh, from three thou to uh, almost uh, one thou, pretty close to one thou, which is uh, not bad at all. I can live with that. It's not an expensive lathe and uh, we're doing well at one thou for sure. Now, it wasn't just the run out that made me buy a new chuck, although it certainly contributed a lot to it. But I had ground these jaws so much that this is a 3 16th drill bit. I can't tighten the jaws up on it. So I was very limited uh, when it came to small things uh, what I could put in the chuck. Uh, keep that in mind if you decide to grind your jaws, you're also producing this kind of a situation.